That was the one voice more like Jesus. Well, I love how the Holy Spirit is guiding this time together. And I came across a great post that says, The God inside of you, of course we are the temple of the Holy Spirit, is always bigger than the battle surrounding you. Now, I love that scripture that tells us in 1 John 4, 4, Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That means, of course, that we are already on the victory side. And I just want to remind you today that the Bible does tell us that in James 4, 7, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the enemy, and he will flee from you today. Isn't that great to know that you and I do not have to be a victim. We can actually be a victor. We don't have to be overcome. We can become an overcomer. We don't have to be conquered. We can be more than a conqueror. And also as well, we don't have to be defeated. We can be, of course, undefeated. So Father, today, we just want to take a moment and thank you that, Lord, we have all these wonderful promises in the Word of God that remind us about these very facts. Maybe right now at this time, we're kind of feeling that way, but that's okay because Lord, we are putting our trust in your word. And secondly, we are also Lord at this time making a decision that we're going to bring this thing to you in prayer. So whatever it is, we're bringing it to you right now. And we thank you that Lord, you made a promise. You're always going to be with us. You're always going to take us through. Lord, one of the greatest stories in the Bible is the story of Moses and the people of going through the Red Sea. Now, the interesting fact about people going through the Red Sea is that, Lord, you didn't some magically transport them to the other side. You took them through, and it was a matter of faith and a matter of trust. So, Lord, today we know that you're going to take us through whatever it is. And when we come to the other side, we're going to be in that promised place. So, Lord, thank you for all of these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Your last-minute Zoom call.